Your skimmer line is the first line of defense when it comes to filtering out debris in your pool. And that means it's easy to get a clogged up skimmer line. So if you're getting poor suction or you think your pool skimmer line is clogged, here's how to troubleshoot and unclog your system. Let's dive in. Real quick, before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help you keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, how does a pool skimmer work? Pool skimmers act as a gateway to your pool's filtration system. Your pool pump sucks water into the skimmers, and as the water passes through the skimmer basket, the skimmer collects large debris. This stops things like leaves and twigs from getting into your filter, and that means your filter can focus on capturing smaller contaminants. The moving door on the front of the skimmer is called the weir, and it opens and closes and regulates the amount of water entering the skimmer. When you turn the pump off, the weir closes so that debris collected in the skimmer basket doesn't float back into your pool. If you have two holes at the bottom of your skimmer well, the furthest one from the pool is the suction port. That leads the skimmer to the pump. Your pool skimmer is also used for vacuuming. You can connect a vacuum by inserting the vacuum hose into the skimmer suction port or by using a skimmer vacuum plate. The skimmer basket is also where some people add chlorine tablets. As the water is pulled through the skimmer, it runs over the tablets and dissolves them. But be careful, you don't wanna leave any partially dissolved tablets in the pool skimmer when your pump isn't running. That highly chlorinated water can end up sitting in one place or the tablet's acidity can damage your equipment. So how do you clean a pool skimmer? Simply take the cover off the skimmer and pull out the basket and dump it out. Then put it back in the skimmer and replace the cover. Clean out your pool skimmer at least once a week. And if you have a smaller pool that you use more often or you're constantly seeing debris in your basket, clean it every other day. The longer debris sits in the skimmer basket, the more likely it will start to break up and decay. If you want to increase the amount of contaminants picked up by your skimmer, you can cover it with a pool skimmer filter sock or pantyhose. The finely knit fabric will help catch smaller debris. You can also place a few tennis balls in your skimmer basket. Their fuzzy exteriors will help absorb surface oil. So how do you know if there's a clog in your pool skimmer line? Well, there are a few signs it might be clogged. One, your pool pump is pulsing or unusually loud and the pressure is low. If the water is surging or pulsing in your pump, this may be a sign of a clogged pipe. But first, you have to rule out other potential problems like air leaks. Check the O-ring on the pump lid. Then check to see if your impeller inside your pump is clogged. Be sure the pump is off when you check this. And if you need any help troubleshooting your pump, be sure to check out our other videos. It may also be a time to backwash or clean your filter if you haven't done that in a while. If you've just cleaned your filter, that may have caused an air pocket to form. Number two, your water intake into your pump is slow even if the skimmer basket is empty. If your water is slow coming into your pool pump, check the skimmer door to make sure it isn't stuck. Also, make sure your pool's water level is halfway up the skimmer. If the skimmer door and water level look good, then you may have a clog in your skimmer line. To find out which pipe is blocked, run your pool pump and check each line one at a time. You can do this by using your pool diverter valve, AKA a Jandy valve. Switch the valve between the skimmers and the main drain lines. If one line has low pressure or your pump loses suction, that means it's clogged with an air pocket or debris. As you test these lines, be sure to always leave one line open. You never wanna run your pump with all the intake valves closed and no water flowing. So if there is something blocking your skimmer line, here's how to unclog it. One, try moving the pool's diverter valve back and forth. Opening and closing the pool diverter valve while the pump is running may dislodge whatever is blocking your skimmer line. Shimmy the diverter valve back and forth between the lines for several seconds each time. After several rounds of opening and closing the skimmer valve, you may remove the air pocket or dislodge the debris into the pump strainer basket. And like we said, be sure to always leave one line open during this process so there's water flowing into your pump as it runs. Number two, clear the blockage with a drain cleaning bladder. Drain cleaning bladders attach to your garden hose and then are inserted into the clogged line. When the hose is turned on, the bladder expands and pushes pressurized water down the pipe. You can find these bladders in the plumbing section of your local home improvement store. 
First, shut off the pump completely. Make sure your diverter valve is turned to the skimmer line. Then, remove your skimmer basket. Insert the hose with the bladder attachment into the suction hole of your skimmer and push it in as far as it will go. When you turn on the hose, the bladder will expand while it's in the pipe. That pressurized water will push any debris and air into the pump. Now, if that doesn't work, you can try using the drain cleaning bladder in the pump. Make sure that the pump is turned off and the diverter valve is set to the skimmer line. Remove the pump basket and insert the hose with the bladder into the pump's intake pipe that flows back towards the pool. This will force pressurized water back into the skimmer and keep an eye out for debris that blows back into the skimmer. You'll also want to use the bladder in the pump if you have a clog in your main drain line. Just make sure the diverter valve is turned to the main drain when you do this. If nothing works, it might be time to call a professional to come unclog your lines. But don't give up right away. It can take several rounds of diverting water and using the bladder to unclog your lines. If you need more help maintaining your pool throughout the season, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.